Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Numerics with Nadia. In today's lesson, we're going to continue working through our beginner geometry playlist, and we're going to go through the area and circumference of a circle. If you guys didn't watch the last video, we went through the area and perimeter of triangles, squares, and rectangles. I would definitely recommend watching that one first prior to this one, just so we understand the difference of area and perimeter versus circumference. So in today's lesson, we're going to go over what area and circumference of a circle are. And then as always, we're going to get into our practice. So first off, what is area and what is circumference of a circle? What do these terms mean? Based off of our last video, we should be familiar with what area is. Area is the space inside of a shape, right? But this word circumference, that's a new one. So let's go through and define what circumference is. So what is circumference? Circumference is just the perimeter of a circle. It's a specific word for circles in particular. And perimeter we know is the measure of the distance around a shape. So it's just the distance around a circle and we call it the circumference. Now we'll get into our formulas. The formula for area of a circle is represented by A equals, right? And then we have pi r squared. Don't worry, we'll go through and define everything. And then the formula for circumference is C equals 2 pi r. So I would copy down these formulas into your notebook and we'll go through here and really clarify what all these numbers and symbols mean. So on our right here, we have this diagram of a circle and we see two vocab words labeled here. We have radius and diameter. So radius is R and that's in both of our equations for area and circumference. And R is our radius. The radius is just the distance from the center of a circle to its perimeter. So from the center to any edge, that would be that distance would be our radius. Now for diameter, that is represented by D in our equations. I will show us the relationship between radius and diameter in just a second, but let's first define what the diameter is. So the diameter is the distance from one side of the circle to the opposite side, and the key point here is that it needs to pass through the center. So notice how both radius and diameter deal with passing through the center or starting at the center. Now, where is the center? The center is, I'm drawing a little black dot for us here. That is the center of our circle and the radius starts from the center and it extends out to opposite side. And the diameter is a straight line that cuts across the circle going through the center. Now for the relationship between radius and diameter, the radius is half the diameter or the diameter is twice as big, right? The relationship is the same, but what I will write for us down here is that D equals 2R, right? So basically diameter is twice the radius. I would definitely recommend writing that in our notebooks as well because sometimes we're not always given the radius, sometimes we're given the diameter instead, and we need to know how to go in between both versions. So now that we know what the formulas are for area and circumference of a circle, what circumference even means, what the radius and the diameter are, what is pi? What is this symbol that we're dealing with in our equations? So pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. What does that mean? You guys don't necessarily need to worry about that. More so, we just want to know what the value is so we can approximate all of our answers. There is also a pi key on your calculator, so either works, but for our purposes, we'll either use the approximate value or we will just leave all of our answers in terms of pi once we get to our practice section. Now let's get into a few practice problems. The direction for our practice section today say to find the area and circumference of the given circles, we're going to use everything that we've gone over thus far. So we're going to use the approximation we went over for pi. So pi is gonna be approximately 3.14. And then I'll also go through and write out all of our formulas again, just so we can have it here. We remember that circumference equals two pi r 
or pi d, depending on what we're given, and area equals pi r squared. So now that we have all of the key information that we need, we'll get into our first practice question for today. This first circle, we are given the measure of a line that starts at the center of the circle and extends out to one side, and we're given that that is 20 feet. So let's start off, we remember our equations, c equals two pi r and a equals pi r squared. Here, that 20 feet, that is our radius, right? Starts at the center, extends out to one side. So now we'll just substitute in. So for the circumference equation, we have c equals two pi times 20. We can multiply the two and the 20 together. So we get that c equals 40 pi. And then we can do the multiplication out on the side here because the approximation for pi is 3.14. So if you guys don't remember how to multiply decimals, I'll link a video right here for you guys, but we're gonna do everything by hand here. So we're going to do the 3.14 times 40. And when we do that, and when we add our decimal back in, the answer that we get for the circumference is 125.6. And units for circumference is the same as units for perimeter. It's just the regular unit. So our answer for the circumference would be 125.6 feet. Now we'll move into the area. For area, we have pi r squared, and we'll just substitute in that 20 for r. So we'll have pi times 20 squared. And we know that 20 squared, well, that is the same as 20 times 20, right? So we'd have a equals pi times 20 times 20. We know that 20 times 20 is 400, so a equals 400 pi. And again, we can approximate that pi to 3.14. So we'll do the multiplication out on top here again. We're going to be doing 3.14 times 400. And when we do that, we end up getting 1,256 when we add our decimal back in. And remember, for area, our unit is always units squared. So our answer for area will be 1,256 feet squared. That ends off number one. We will do one more practice question for today. I have copy pasted the formulas down for you guys below. I would rewrite and recopy these formulas because it really helps uh, your mind muscle memory when we write things out like that. So for number two in our circle, we're given the measure of a line that extends from one side of the circle to the other going through the center. And that line measures 12 centimeters. And that type of line, well, that's called the diameter. So we know that we are given our diameter and it is 12 centimeters. And just for our purposes, we also want to go through and find our radius really quick before we get into our calculations. We know that the diameter is twice the length of the radius, right? So that would just make our radius as six centimeters. So our radius is six centimeters and our Diameter is 12 centimeters. Now we can go through and find our circumference and area. So since we are given the diameter for circumference this time, let's use the pi d equation. So if we use pi d, we can go through and substitute in that 12. So it would be c equals pi times 12. And we could just do that calculation on the side again. Pi is approximately 3.14. So we'll do 12 times 3.14. And when we do that, we end up getting 37.68 when we put our decimal back in. So our answer for the circumference would just be 37.68 centimeters. Now we can move on to our area equation. For area, we know that we have to use pi r squared. That's our formula. So we'll just substitute in that six centimeters for our radius. So we have a equals pi times six squared. And 6 squared is the same as 6 times 6, right? So it would be a equals pi times 6 times 6. And we know that 6 times 6 is 36. So a equals pi times 36. And again, we'll do that calculation down below. We will do 3.14 times 36. And when we do that, and when we put our decimal back in, we end up getting 113.04. And again, we know that our units for area are our units squared. 
So our answer would be 113.04 centimeters squared. All right, you guys, that is it for today's lesson. Great job today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video with a friend and comment any questions or any other videos you would like to see down below. And I will see you guys next time.